Hey, what's up guys? Jimmy V here, mortgage originator specializing in VA loans. Today, I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know about this form right here, the certificate of eligibility. And the reason why I say everything that you need to know is because this particular form confuses a lot of veterans when we want to take advantage of our VA home loan benefits. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to expect. You'll know how to get it. Most importantly, in in addition to that, you'll know how to understand it. So that way you can go out there and effectively purchase a home utilizing, in my opinion, the most competitive loan program and product on the marketplace today. And that is our VA home loan benefit. Good to go. So before we get started, if you found that this information was of value, do me a favor, click like on the video, consider showing your love by subscribing to the channel. And lastly, comment down below with your questions. So that way I personally, yes, Jimmy V can get them answered for you. Roger that. All right, let's go ahead and get this party started. So the certificate of eligibility, what is it? How does it work? And why is it important for you and I as veterans to get this form in advance and upfront? I feel like when we're getting out of the military, you know, we all go through tip and taps, right? We're falling asleep uh, in the course and they talk about this form. It's like, if you ever want to use your VA, there's this document. Well, this is the particular document that we need. It's called the certificate of eligibility. All this form is veterans is a document that says that we're eligible for the VA loan. Nothing more, nothing less. Remember that we still have to get pre-qualified by a mortgage lender, somebody like myself who specializes in VA loans. So that way you can go out, put an offer in on a property and have it accepted by the seller in roughly 30 days later, close on your home and begin building wealth through the acquisition of real estate, utilizing your VA home loan benefits. So the certificate of eligibility, I feel like it's confusing because we as veterans look at this form and it says this vet veterans, excuse me, basic entitlement is $36,000. Now let me press pause on that for just a second before I explain it and say that there's two ways to get this form. Number one, you can get it through your e-benefits portal. Log in, download it there. You'll have a copy of this certificate of eligibility. Number two, you can have a mortgage loan originator who specializes in VA loans. Somebody like myself assist you in getting a copy because we have direct access or a relationship with the Department of Veterans Affairs where we're able to get a copy of this form on your behalf instantly. Good to go. So those are two simple ways that you can get a copy of your COE. Now back to the COE. This veteran's basic entitlement is $36,000. Now, what exactly does that even mean? Entitlement is a fancy way of saying guarantee or insurance. And this is my opportunity to explain to you how VA loans work. Really, VA loans is a government-backed loan to you, meaning this, that if you as the veteran were to go out and purchase a home up to any purchase price, the VA is in the background. In my neighborhood, we used to say the VA is in the cuts, right? And all the VA does is just say, hey, Mr. Lender, in the event that that veteran were to de default on the loan for any reason, we'll cut you a check for 25%. So that's what entitlement is. That's what VA guarantee is. In this particular instance, the VA entitlement is only $36,000. Now, a lot of veterans get tripped up here. Taylor, they get tripped up because they think that they can only get a loan for like $36,000. Not true, all right? That's the basic entitlement. So let me explain to you what that means and how it works. 36,000, if you multiply that number by four, Okay, let me come down over here. Multiply that number by four is $144,000. That's how much a veteran can get a VA loan with no money down. Now, if you're going, Jimmy, $144,000, that's not a whole lot of money. I hear you, right? And I understand what you mean by that. And guess who also understands? The Department of Veterans Affairs. They know that real estate values, historically speaking, have gone up. So what's taken place as a result is VA kind of um, developed something called bonus entitlement. Now here's where things get really interesting for you and I. This bonus entitlement ends up kicking our loan limits up significantly. So if I take that 145,000 and I take these two numbers together and I multiply them by four, the 36,000, the 145,500, what you'll find is, is Essentially, that means that you and I as veterans can get a new VA loan all the way up to $726,200 with no money down. So adding both of these two together, right? Multiplying them by four ends up equating to 726,200, which means that you and I as veterans can buy a house up to $726,200 with no money down. That's what basic entitlement and bonus entitlement allow us as veterans to do. Now, let me press pause on this for just a moment and explain something. VA has an exception 
to this rule. In other words, if you and I don't have an existing VA loan, they will allow us to go up to any purchase price we would like above this 726 200 with no money down. And so in 2020, the Trump administration rolled out something called the Vietnam Veteran Blue Water Initiative Act. And in this act, it lifted the cap on VA loans, allowing you and I to purchase a home, once again, up to any purchase price with no money down. This is important for us to understand, but we also remember, we have to keep in mind that this only applies if we don't have an existing VA loan. You following me along on that? If you have questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll make sure to personally answer it for you. Now, there's a couple of other important things that I want us to remember on the certificate of eligibility. In this box right here, it says prior loans to entitlement. If you're an existing veteran who has a VA loan, we're gonna see your loan amount there, which brings me to my next point. We're gonna deduct that from your existing entitlement and the remaining entitlement that you have left over, guess what you can do? You can deploy it on another home. A lot of veterans don't know this and I have a lot of you that reach out to me every single day. They're like, dude, you can buy more than one home utilizing two VA loans? It's like, yes, yes you can, so long as you have sufficient entitlement to be able to do so. You following me along on that? So there's a couple of other important things that you need to be aware of on this particular form. One in particular is referred to as the funding fee, okay? Now for my veterans that have a VA service-connected disability of 10% or greater, they are entitled to have their VA funding fee waived and it's going to tell us, tell us this on this box up in the top right corner. This particular Marine Corps veteran has his VA funding fee waived because he has a service-connected disability of 10 percent good to go so that's a little bit about the certificate of eligibility what it is how it works why it's important remember all this is is just you being eligible now you still have to be able to get at well here's a marine corps term condition one which means around in the chamber ready to go out there and buy a house how do you do that you connect with a mortgage loan originator somebody like myself who can pre-qualify you gather all of the necessary documents and information to ensure that you're locked and loaded, ready to go out there and purchase a home. My name is Jimmy Versolino. If you have more questions about the certificate of eligibility, how it works in 2023, I want you to know it's okay to reach out to me. Talk to you soon.